top lane somehow, or this could be a very one-sided game. Yeah, and dominating and steamrolling any kind of lane on the side of Domlinkia is going to be difficult, I would say, as I, I'm very curious to see, again, the jungle match. I, I think we get the champions that open it up and make it possible for a lot of fun, a lot of, uh, you know, skirmishing, a lot of outplays, I would say. And Kenyon's going to kind of have his rule of the map. Um, here on the Italy, so excited for that. Rich gets his Aatrox, which is another, uh, you know, obviously key pick on the side of Nongshim. Maybe he can finally look to get ahead in one of these lanes. So far, he hasn't been uh, looking super good, uh, usually getting behind and then showing up in the team fights. But we're going to jump onto the map for game number one right away Nongshim versus Dalmon Kia. Some of the team fights are going to operate very differently, but. So important to note, I mean, these these patterns that we do see as this Gromp is just, uh, wants to be loved by somebody. <laughs> <laughs> Someone please be my friend. Oh, Khan is getting engaged to Khan in a big way. And Canyon is still able to get the smite off and win that smite fight, essentially. They get pretty even, which feels like that's the way you want it to be if you're Dom Juan Kia and... Rich rotating in now. This is going to be the big Herald fight I was talking about. They're trying to force. Yeah, you see Rich and Peanut pretty far ahead of Bay and Kellen, who have gotten pushed out by now. Rich kind of going in by himself has to flash away. That will be the Rift Herald going the way of Don Juan Kia, as now Flash is coming out from Khan, wants to get away, but Meganar is coming in. And we have the 80 carries joining up just yet. No committal just yet, but you can see Khan, he's about to hit that. Meganar is going to pop. Rich into the wall and pick up first blood. No flash available on him. In comes Barrel and gets the two of them in a taunt. He will die for it. But they extend even farther and pick up yet another kill as Dom One say this map and this Herald is Ghost out. At this point. Ghost is getting a lot of pressure here in the lane, but fortunately, I'll hold that thought. Yeah, and Galio just with the aftershock going to avoid a lot of that damage, but he's not really able to get under the turret for a long time. But still, Lilia pretty weak here. Ghost getting in there looking for that last shot and actually does chunk him down. Going back in his barrel and he's actually going to survive. Fantastic play. Not just trying to run away, actually trying to set up the kill and also survive at the same time. And this... He'll play uh, either the Pantheon or when he's playing this Galio. It just reminds me of Doa, man. Bloodthirsty supports. This is the kind of play <laughs> that he'd love to see. Um, and look at this. I mean, he's like you said, he's not under turret range for a little while here, so they do a ton of free damage. And obviously, Peanut's damage output over time is insanely high, but he's very squishy. Has to get over the wall there. And Barrel just re-engages in with the punch, has the taunt, and now Showmaker is here. Bay was pushed in, so couldn't actually come over quite as fast. Play by Barrel because he also avoided the damage by the swipe from the Samira, and so it's even cooler. So this is what happened here. Yeah, Peanut. You want to break that down for us? <laughs> I mean, been in that rush. I don't they were, know. The observer was showing there's a ward that actually spotted them, I believe, and we know. Yeah, take a look. Showmaker's checking the brushes. Like he knows someone is around, and even Ghost was down here. He backed underneath the turret because he knew. And here we go, they're gonna try to engage now. Maybe the sleep onto Canyon, here it comes, but Galio immediately just ults on in. Nice engage here from Kellen, the unbreakable will comes and he's just running away into the back line goes Showmaker and Kellen is just gonna get that back massage that we always see from the Lucian. There's <laughs> another kill going the way of Canyon this time. And uh, now they're just hostages under the turret, it seems. The pack massage killed me. <laughs> Don's got to be careful. One. Yeah, I think he might actually just die. He's going to be chased down here. He's very fast on the Gnar. And actually, he's trading back some damage nicely. But Kellen here, looking to dive the turret, should be a pretty nice alley-oop over to the Lilia as they do pick up the... <laughs> <laughs> it's like, guys, by the way, Showmaker's down in the bottom lane. Oh, okay, nice little sleep in mid Meganar. Pop in, he's gonna have to stride breaker out of that one. Canyon getting burst down, has to Zonyas, but there's no hope for him, even with the flash over the wall. And this is a pretty broken up fight. Showmaker's still very fed, but now it's five on three, as finally Ghost is gonna enter, but maybe it's a little bit too little too late. Nongshim find their opportunity. I could probably just run away from this one. 
Ghost is like in mid side laning. Meanwhile, he's not even close to this. Yeah. They just know they had such good vision control. He gets a few extra waves and pushes in, and Khan escapes no problem. Now they're gonna engage. Okay, not sure if they should stick around on this one. A double stun comes in, and there is the Kaisa immediately follows up, and even Khan's just chipping away a rich here. The flash comes in from Showmaker as if he needed any more kills. Gonna be popping up that KDA here tonight for sure, as they all have to dodge the spear. And then easy Zonyas does come in. No more ultimate here for the Kaisa, but a spear to the back for the Zoe is pretty unfortunate for her. Rich also will go down. And that is three kills to the side of Dom One Kia. Or yeah. pretty quick clear. You can see it in the live feed as we are gonna see Khan look for the double stun here. I think that was probably a you know the wrong play for Nongshim to try to cut him off of the fight there, because obviously in Meganar he's gonna be able to get the double stun, uh, but what is Kellen doing? Okay. <laughs> I think they're a little bit tilted at this point. They should not be going in onto this one. Dom one so far ahead. I suppose they said, well, this is going to be our best chance before they go back and use all of their gold that they just got from the last team fight. But it's one by one. They march in to their doom. And that is an ace here. Right, it's to like, the side. okay, well, you're going to have a worse time there. And they just took damage from the Baron. So. Either you're choosing to fight at the Baron, or you're choosing to fight under Nexus turrets, and I guess they wanted to be proactive, but again, it was, uh, wasn't the most well-played fight either. The timing didn't work out, you know? It's yeah. sad times. Bay at least is gonna land the sleep, but we're kind of playing tutorial mode, where yeah. all, all of the... You gotta kill all the turrets and everything. A huge taunt on the three people in the front line, and Damon Kia just going to steamroll through Nongshim here as they push on with their Baron buff. And we'll look to pump up Showmaker's KDA even more, as that is the only thing that matters right now. Another big spear into Bay. He's got about no health, and he will just be. Uh, well, taken out. And that's going to do it for game number one, a 20,000 gold lead at the end. And uh, one of our wo most one-sided games that we've had so far. Facts here as, uh, yeah, almost 20,000 gold difference, but Khan had to uh, give some gold back there at the end. Yeah, I mean, the damage output for Showmaker is pretty insane uh, throughout this game. Some few back massages given, uh, domination in the mid lane, the solo kill we saw onto Bay. Um, he controlled things. I, uh, you guys might saw me type in there for a second. I just They're running a Samira comp. They need to get advantages early. The Oriana pairs really well with Duck Dom Samira here in the early to mid game. But after that, if they fall behind early, as they did in the previous match, or previous game, excuse me, then it could be a big issue, uh, I think, for them. Yeah, it'll be interesting to see if they can at least even go even <laughs> in the start of this game number two, because game number one was Showmaker showing a lot of mid-priority, Kenden kind of having his run of the map, and every other lane going equal or ahead. And so we'll see if they have any other way to come back in this one. I think Bay going back to his Orianna is a good comfort pick. A lot of pressure onto Peanut once again. He needs to somehow out jungle Canyon, try to get the bottom lane ahead, I would say. Try to make sure that Rich can have some kind of leash up in the top side and that he doesn't just have to play restrained, as you were mentioning. So it'll be interesting. I think there's a lot of comfort on the side of Nongshim. We'll see if they can do it, jumping into game number two. You know, a bit greedy with that timing, but he's able to get away and should be okay as he does. Oh, level six hit here by Showmaker Bay. Might be in some trouble as there's the ultimate comes out first blood as Showmaker able to go for the perfect timing on the trade. Easily hops Bay. over the wall. He is going to be chased as Canyon in a position here to try to zone away Bay, who's just going to shockwave himself. But here comes the, oh, the stun. So close to hitting, doesn't matter. Canyon able to 100 to zero him himself. There's the gameplay button. Rich helping out a lot here, actually, as Canyon is in some trouble. Has that ignite ticking, still shooting him down. Showmaker probably going to get that kill up on the top side, still on the chase, but the Nidalee pretty fast to get away and has dodged a lot of these orbs. As okay, able to line that one up. Still not enough damage. Showmaker has built mainly for survivability, 
on his items earlier, from what I could tell, had Merc Treads and a Down, but because Canyon was in the right place at the right time, his presence makes that trade much more difficult for the side of Nongshu to actually uh, commit to, as even more gold is going to be shoveled. Yeah, for so here. the doesn't just outscale him. Um, and I don't, I don't know what happens if they lose this Drake fight handily, <laughs> as Rich is actually in trouble now. Yeah, he's going to have to ult here. He is down a level, but with the Dominus, is making this trade pretty interesting. Another stun into the wall, and Rich decides that, okay, I've had enough of this one. Kind of back. Uh, if that Nara is really forced, I'll pull that thought. Uh -oh. Well, Duck Dom in a lot of trouble here, does have his flash heal. Is able to hit that S rank, but nearly chipped down. The, actually, the range minions getting in there, and Canyon able to pick up that kill in the end. Man, this is a disaster. Yeah. The rest of them come in. I mean, this is double teleport used by the side of Nongshim, and DK are just like, yep, well, <laughs> we'll just get over the wall. And the happy B from Ghost in sad contrast to Rich's sad B. Flashes, <laughs> he gets happy beat again. <laughs> they nearly chipped away at, Khan, as he goes back. He's just pushing up here for free. He's gonna grab some Krugs. I mean, why not? And yeah, okay. the pressure. Try me. Let's see. All right. Well, <laughs> he's just gonna hop away and doesn't actually go for the flash until now. It's almost like he's even baiting them. Nongshim try to prevent the top turret from going down. They they do because the minion wave is not here, but when the minion wave arrives, what are you gonna do? Rich, this is not the trade he wants in the mid lane. Uh-oh, Canyon takes a lot of damage. Actually, finally, Peanut gets his revenge and will actually be able to flash away and survive. Props to Peanut, showing, hey, you know, you can actually get something done in this crazy game. They're down yeah, was... 7,000 gold at 22 minutes, but still, they're going in on this one. Yeah, that was a really nice stopwatch from him as well, or uh, Zonia's I think he has completed now, I believe. And if, It was actually a little bit of rich power there, kind of baiting that exchange. Meanwhile, Damwon Kia still have a push that's strong on the top lane. You see again. And okay, Showmaker is going to have to flash away from this one. He's got an angry croc on his back right now. As okay, Rich may be extending a little bit too far there, as he really wanted to pick up that kill, but now Canyon getting caught out here once again. Duck Dom moving very far down the lane. Solar Flare goes incredibly wide, and now they're just a little bit too spread out. Khan gets the full wrap around from the right side of the map, and looks like he'll just be content of the middle. Uh oh, Bay, I think he's just dead. Okay, that's a nice shockwave. And he is pretty fast, but Khan not going to give up on this one. He's got another boomerang, and that's going to be the end of Oriana. As he is now 0 and 3. Used his flash to make sure. Take, for a, it. take a look at the mid lane while this is happening. I mean, yeah. it's, it's like they're just hunting. They're just trying desperately to find some pick while their base is dead. I mean, they're both inhibitors are going to go down. As now they desperately try to back to get into the fight, but it's too little too late. Stalm on 13,000 gold up, and now a couple of inhibitors will be looking to end this game soon, you'd imagine. You do yeah, anything yeah. against me? I am the jungle! He proves that once again here tonight. What a beautiful game from Dom One Kia. See that massive scat of the week hit like three or four people there, Showmaker. Also not one to be outdone, as in they go, Ghost. Just gonna press that RQ and get a bunch of damage for himself here on the backside of this game. But this one was a stomp. It was not close. It was a 2-0 here for Damwon Kia. And there's really not much else to say. There was no hope in this one for the side of Nongshim at any point in both of these games as they even dived the fountain. For some right? There's really nothing else to say about that as Khan did in just a mind-blowing amount of damage on Gnar. And it's just because he was always seemingly part of the action, whether he was the one, uh, you know, harassing the Renekton, or the one diving, or the one getting...